you refer a lot to something called Q. Mm -hmm. Now I know what it is, but I'll bet a lot of people sharing lunch with us today don't have a clue what Q means. So mm -hmm. could you give us a little of education, what you mean when you talk about a high Q, a low Q, and how it relates to speakers? Yeah. In, in, and, and, and just one last thing, just mm -hmm. to jog a bit of memory. I always remember Jim Teal mm -hmm. talking about uh, how they had, if I remember right, it was a low Q design mm -hmm. for their Teal speakers mm -hmm. and, and why that's important and what it all means. Sure, yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. The the Q in the in the case of of speakers is is most often used when talking about the box alignment of a woofer and the woofer's parameters. So um, the electromechanical parameters of a woofer can be made represented as an equivalent electrical circuit. And so um, Q is actually uh, a measure of resonance magnification. So if you think about um, a higher Q would have peaking, have, have ringing, and a lower Q um, is um, more damped and less ringing and can actually be over damped in some cases. And one way to think about it is if you took a mass on a spring and you pulled it down and released it, it it's going to resonate, oscillate. And with a higher Q system, it's going to ring longer. And with a lower Q system, it's going to return back to rest oh, okay. and stop more quickly. And so this, uh, like a, a sealed box, for instance, can be represented like a second order high pass filter, a 12 dB per octave filter. So a, a critically damped system would have a Q of 0.5 um, and then a maximally flat system where it's, um, so it, it, with a Q of 0.5, you're minus 6 dB at, at resonance. And with um, a Q of 0.707, that's another common one that you see. And this is back in the days of when you used to have to look up a table of, of values in order to figure out, you know, what size box you're going to use for a given woofer or things like that. So low Q woofers, um, Q uh, uh, in a woofer design relates to uh, the, the uh, QES and QTS and QMS. Those are the Qs of the mechanical system and the electrical system and the, and the total system Q. And um, QES is inversely proportional to efficiency, so low Q woofers have more efficiency. Okay. And so often you see those um, in high efficiency systems or systems that are designed for you know, ported boxes and things of that nature, whereas the opposite is true for sealed boxes where you, to have more extension you have uh, higher Q. Uh, woofers and um, you know but but Q is also related to the uh, compliance in the system so in, in a woofer you know that's something where you can essentially shift shift the Q around by how the physical parameters of, of the driver also in electrical circuits like the crossover the type of, of crossover circuit you're using uh, is there's named you know, circuits for the different cues that are used. So you'll have a Butterworth type filter as a Q, a Q.707, or you have a Linkwitz Riley filter that's a Q of 0.5. And so there's, or Chebyshev, there's different um, cues are named after particular design engineers that had in innovated it or used it most commonly. So, like, like, like Linkwitz. Like Linkwitz, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that's the most common now, which is um, because it it sums to be flat on on axis between uh, between the legs of the filter and stuff. So it ends up being, um, you know, very common. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks.